Hey, welcome. Today we will learn how to replace or modify some of the values in our pandas data frame. Here is a data set again that I've used uh, a bunch of times before in my pandas videos. This is a data frame that I got from New York City Open Data. It is a list of open positions in the New York City government, uh, their job IDs, the job title, the agency that opened this position, whether it's external or internal, the category and what the expected salary is from uh, the lower end to the higher end. The first thing that I want to show you is actually quite simple. It's about replacing non-values, so missing values. For that, in pandas, all you have to do is say data, uh, fill na, and if you already know what you wanna fill it with, you just fill it in here. So I see that there is a non or missing value here in the job category. You know, there are a bunch of ways how you can find out there are missing values. I've made a video about that. I'll make sure to link it here. Uh, but there are also a whole different process when you want to decide how to fill uh, missing values. I will make a video about that too. So if you, if you actually are interested in that, let me know in the comments so I know that there is some interest in that uh, sort of video too, how to fill in missing values. But anyways, uh, let's say in this case, we learn that legal affairs department always forgets to put in the uh, job category information. Sometimes they do, like sometimes they don't. So then what I can do is to say, fill all the missing values with legal affairs. And as you can see, it returns to me a whole new data frame where the missing value here is filled with legal affairs. But if you want to make the change on your original data set, all you have to say is data equals to uh, the filled in version. Another thing that is very straightforward is to use replace. So for replace, I can use it again on my data frame. Replace. And um, in this data frame, let's say the agency New York Housing Authority, um, they want to be called something else from now on. So maybe they want to be called NYC uh, Authority for housing, right? So if I do that, I will again see that there is um, a new data frame that is created. And from now on, the NYC Housing Authority is called NYC Authority for Housing. One thing to note here is that this only changes things uh, that have an exact match. So if something said NYC Housing Authority uh, for Bronx, for example, um, and you know if, if that's what it said in the data and I only changed the NYC Housing Authority, it would not have changed it to NYC authority for housing because it only works with exact matches. And if you don't want to do the data equals to data replace thing, uh, you can also use the argument in place. And if you set it to true, the original data where this function is being called on is going to be updated. So then as you see, there will be nothing that is being returned. So then if I look at the original data, I see that this value has been updated. Or you can use lock or at functions on your data frame to change things based on a condition. So let's say I want to change in my data set where every time uh, posting type is external. I want to value for posting type to be updated to one. So let's see what happens if I do this. If I look at the data again, yeah, as you can see, I say at every location where posting type is external, change the posting type information to one or posting type value to one. So you can do it also for, a, for example, internal, and you can say for that one, I want it to be two. So maybe you wanna kind of code them into one or two instead of internal and external, right? Uh, as you can see, this automatically changes the original data. You do not have to do any extra assignment there. Instead of lock, you can also use at. So let's do something else for this. Uh, let's say for every time a job category is health, I want the job category to actually say health department, for example. Little typo. And yeah, as you can see now, the original data, uh, instead of health, it says health department. But instead of calling things um, based on a criteria, I can also call things based on their location. So if I say I want the 
value of job category again uh, at location three, which is the value of the index to be changed. So then job category. And I want that to be from now on, what is it now? Information technologies and telecommunication. I want that to be ITT. So if I make that change, as you can see from uh, where the third index and job category is uh, coinciding, it is now ITT. So it's basically you are getting a subset of your data set. So you can either determine it based on the index value or you can determine it based on a condition. So it will get all the rows based on the condition that is given in the first uh, part and it will take the column given on the second part. So it's row and column here. Uh, and then you can make the change and you can assign something new to that part. You can also do this using the NumPy function where so again, I will need to call a condition here. Uh, I'm running out of uh, things to come up with. Let's say where the agency is, uh, financial, whatever this is. You can say every time the agency is financial info, something, something agency, I want something to, I want to return true. And for every time it's not, I want to return false. So let's see what that gives me. That gives me an array of uh, basically whether this condition is being um, satisfied or not. So if I assign that to a whole new column, I can say financial uh, Boolean, for example. Now I'll print my data again. And here I will get a whole new column where it tells me if the agency that is opening the position is financial info SVCS agency or not. Um, this could be used in many ways, but this is basically kind of also like a analysis thing on your um, data set on top, on top of just like replacing values. You can also choose to do this on top of the agency, then you will be replacing the values, right? But I think this is a nice trick to know, mainly because you have the option to give two values uh, to the information instead like here, where we could only change um, the value of one option. Another thing we can use is mask. It basically works the other way around uh, from where. Uh, so I can say in the data, uh, I want to apply it on the agency column, right? And uh, say mask. Let's give a condition again where the civil service title, I'll just copy and paste it. Um, civil service title equals to public health nurse. So every time this condition holds, I want the uh, value to be zero, let's say, just to kind of make it obvious. Um, so every time this condition holds, the agency information here is going to be uh, equaling to zero. So let's see, yeah. So it basically returns me a series, a new series object um, of the agency information. And the first one, where the civil service title is public health nurse is now zero. One way that I've very recently learned is another function called cut. Uh, that one's really easy to use. What it does is to help you change your continuous variables and put them into bins. Uh, so for that one, I'll just call pandas, pandas cut and I will pass it the um, column that I want to bin. So let's say salary range from. And I want to, I tell it how many bins that I want. So let's say I want three bins. So it basically creates these bins based on the information or the values that you have on your data frame. And if you want to keep this in a new column, so you can say um, salary lower limit ranges. And now I have this information uh, where the salary range from also has a little bin and there are three different values. You can give them different uh, information, uh, different labels too, but for now I'll just keep it this way. Uh, this is a bit of a more uh, advanced function to use, I guess. If you want to learn more about it, let me know. Maybe I'll make a video about it later. And lastly, if you want to update uh, the values of your data frame based on values on another data frame, you can use update. So I will use uh, some dummy data frames for that again. We have the data frame and we have the new data frame. And let's say I want to update the values that I have on my column B with the values that I have here. 
um, what I, what it's going to do when I use update is going to look at the name of the index and name of the column and wherever is corresponding it's going to update it with the new one so I'll just say data frame update using the values from new data frame and then as you can see oops you can't see yet but as you can see now, <laughs> the values of the just data frame has been updated with the new values that I found on the B column of the new data frame. So now instead of 400, 500, 600, they're 456. Four, five, there are three other ways how you can replace or modify your values and that is apply map and apply map functions on pandas. Uh, I've delved into those functions a bunch of times before, so I will leave the links of the videos where I talk about them up here, but also in the description below. So you can go and watch them to understand how they work better and also how they, how they are different from each other. But that's all for replacing and modifying values on pandas data frames. Once again, if you want to learn more about the pandas functions, some other pandas functions, how they work and where they should be used, I've made a free pandas cheat sheet for you. Go and grab it from the link in the description below. But hey, I hope everything was clear. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions and have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next video.